I'm sorry. By the way, Stormy Daniels, am I the only person in America that doesn't find her attractive, Mr. Producer? I, I, I mean, I keep turning away. They keep showing her. I keep turning away. They keep showing her. I keep turning away. Stormy Daniels? The Stormy Daniels media, let me tell you what's going on here. 60 Minutes has rarely had as big a ratings as they had. This is the, what's, what word should I use? Let me see if I can pronounce it. The pornographication. There you go. The pornographication of the news. The news whoring itself. Look at these websites. They're getting a zillion hits. A zillion hits. 60 Minutes had massive ratings. They keep putting her out there with her, I'm just being honest, with her, with her huge, uh, they keep putting her out there. I can't get away from it. Now, the fact is you cannot ignore the hypocrisy of the media. You simply can't. They say, well, you know, you conservatives, it's interesting. Uh, you're very moral, but when it comes to this, you know, you give Trump a pass. Who's giving Trump a pass? Who's giving Trump a pass? Trump never gets a pass. Even when he doesn't die, do things, he's attacked. But there was nothing overwhelming in the 60 Minutes interview. No, I didn't watch it. But there's nothing. I'm reading these news accounts, like these breathless news accounts. Well, what did you learn? She was threatened in a parking lot. By whom? She doesn't know. Okay. What does that have to do with Trump? Well, she thinks it's Trump. Or his people. And so uh, now we got to hear that. This has been going on for how many weeks? The pornification of the media? Now, when it came to Bill Clinton, you couldn't get a media source to pay attention to the scores of women throughout his life who'd come forward. Not talking about a, a porn person, actress or uh, ex-playboy or whatever. We're talking about somebody who physically assaulted women, who exposed himself to women. The real issue with Clinton, quite frankly, people knew his past and they voted for him anyway. They knew he was a moral scum. His own wife knew it. But the issue with Bill Clinton was twofold. Number one, he lied to federal prosecutors about Lewinsky. There's actually three things. Number two, his sexual activity took place while he was president in the Oval Office. With a subordinate. And then number three, he lied in front of a federal judge doing a deposition and was held in contempt. None of this has anything to do with the accusations against Trump. None of it. I'm not making excuses. I'm not a special pleader. I'm analyzing it. I'm analyzing it. Did 60 Minutes rush to Juanita Broderick to hear her story? No. Did they rush to Kathleen Willey to hear her story? No. Did they rush to Paula Jones to hear her story? No. Did they rush to the endless number of women who Bill Clinton sexually assaulted? Of course not. Now, which one of these women, even if it's all true, which one of these women did Trump sexually assault? Which one? So again, I'm making excuses, but there are differences. And the media are completely, embarrassingly, shamefully hypocritical and completely out of control. Completely out of control. But you have to understand something, most of you in my audience. These stories are not aimed at you. These stories are not aimed at you. The media consider you hopeless. The media consider you beneath contempt because you put Trump in power. The media have nothing but contempt for you. 
It's not aimed at you. It's aimed to just drip, drip, drip. Other people out there who may not pay attention to politics as closely as you do, who may be on the fence with Trump at this point, just to turn enough people to turn the midterm election, to turn enough people to turn the next uh, election should Trump run, that's what it's aimed at. It's not even aimed at you. Anyway, how come 60 Minutes isn't doing a story on the sexual harassment that took place throughout the media? Whatever happened to that? I'll be right back. Mark Levin. 